este libro acompaña a Jesús en su pasión y ayuda a tu hermano con tu donación. El Señor esté con vosotros. Lectura del Santo Evangelio según San Mateo. En aquel tiempo dijo Jesús a sus discípulos, Habéis oído que se dijo no cometeréis adulterio. Pero yo os digo, todo el que mira a una mujer deseándola, ya ha cometido adulterio con el guía en su corazón. Si tu ojo derecho te induce a pecar, sácatelo y tíralo. Más te vale perder un miembro que ser echado entero en la guena. Si tu mano derecha te induce a pecar, córtatela y tírala, porque más te vale perder un miembro que ir a parar entero en la guena. Se dijo, el que repudia a su mujer, que le dé acta de repudio. Pero yo os digo que si uno repudia a su mujer, no hablo de unión ilegítima, la induce a cometer adulterio. Y el que se casa con la repudiada, comete adulterio. Palabra del Señor. Gloria a ti, Señor Jesús. My dear fathers, sisters, and Mission Dua members, queridos hermanos y hermanas y miembros de la Misión Rua, today we are happy to celebrate this Holy Mass in St. Anthony's church here, chapel here. Hoy estamos felices de poder estar en esta capilla de San Antonio. We heard that in the gospel, Jesus was telling, you have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery. En el evangelio habéis escuchado como Jesús dijo, no tenéis que cometer adulterio. But I say to you, every committed adultery with her in his heart. Pero cada uno de nosotros que mire a una mujer con el deseo de tenerla y él comite adulterio en su pensamiento, en su corazón. My dear uh, fathers, sisters, and the members of Mission Rua, Jesus' words, Jesus' words are uh, sometimes very clear, very hard for us to follow. You see, Jesus says, not only uh, involving in the uh, activity of adultery, but thinking about or brooding over that, and then in, the, in our hearts, everything that any on any woman on any girl or like that and then we are already committing with bad intention with bad intention we are already committing in our in our hearts that means so that is also equal to committing sin that he, he says that means uh, jesus expects us to be pure to be open to be normal to be normal and then not to think about uh, Uh, people in in that way uh, that is what uh, he jesus always explains uh, in a different way jesus muchas veces dice su diferencia y es muy claro uh, y dice que no necesitas cometer un adulterio sino que ya lo haces con el pensamiento y él jesus nos está diciendo que tenemos que tener un pensamiento una mirada pura son puros, porque Dios Padre es puro. Esto lo exige de cada uno de nosotros. In our body, we have hands, legs, eyes, ears, nose, and then head to think about that. But Jesus 
oh, he means that we have to use all our limbs, all our uh, in our body the, to praise, in order to praise the Lord, in order to help our neighbor, in order to be helpful to them. Today, for example, we went to the orphanage there. How that sisters, those sisters, how they are taking care of them. Those children, they have no parents. They have some they have, they may have, but some are disturbed parents. From those parents, these children are brought here and then they took care of them. And then we gave some bread and milk and then whatever possible to for eating. And then that's what Jesus expects from us. Be charitable, be pure in your heart, be committed in Jesus Christ, always faithful, believe in him and then leave whatever uh, that comes to, to us, into our minds, to the Lord. Eh, su excelencia dice, Jesús nos dio manos, ojos, oídos, el, la cabeza para pensar, eh, los, los pies para caminar y todo para hacer las cosas para la gloria de Dios. Y decía que hoy, por ejemplo, visitamos una casa de huérfanos y miramos una hermana que está cuidando de los niños huérfanos y eh, qué bonito ejemplo y los niños qué regalo se ha llevado alguna comida, alguna leche, comida que necesitan. Pero esto pide Dios Padre de nosotros, guardar nuestras manos, nuestros pies, nuestros ojos, para la caridad, para rezar, para hacer el bien. Those who are pure in heart, they are blessed ones. It all depends how we think. We may remain as a pure persons or impure persons. It depends on us. God has given us wisdom in order to be good, in order to be uh, truthful, in order to be uh, charitable to other people, in order to receive them as they are. Receive them as they are. There he blesses us abundantly. We have eyes, we have hands, doesn't mean that they are for using for any wicked things or any other uh, unwanted things like that. But God wants us to do that we have to, uh, for the glory of God. For the glory of God, we have to do our activities. Then He blesses us. He gives His own graces to us. We all are weak. We all face so many temptations. But it is the grace of God that protects us. It is the grace and that it is His own affection and love towards priests, towards people and towards everybody, women and men. And then that helps us to grow. That means we have to pray. We have to pray and then concentrate on God. And then we have to meditate in front of Blessed Sacrament. And then we get strength, a lot of strength. Then we avoid so many so many temptations and so on. Jesus himself, 40 days and 40 nights, he was fasting and praying and devil comes and three times, three times and then tries to seduce or uh, uh, make Jesus commit some mistakes. But he was never with the power of God, with the power of fasting, with the power of prayer. He could simply say to the devil, you love you are you you adore your God on this earth nothing more than God so therefore you adore God you uh, believe in God you have faith strong faith in God that's what we have to do su excelencia nos dijo que eh, nuestro cuerpo tiene que ser para la gloria de Dios nuestros ojos nuestra mirada nuestras manos tenemos que todo dar gloria a Dios y dijo qué importante es que para llegar a esto, eh, qué importante el ayuno, la oración y la caridad. Jesús estuvo 40 días en el desierto, eh, fue tentado por el demonio, pero resistió. Y nos dijo, tú también vas a poder resistir con el ayuno. Tú vas a poder resistir a forma nuestros miembros, nuestros ojos, nuestra mano, van a dar gloria a Dios porque no hay otro sentido de estar en este mundo, sino para ser puros, 
para ser bellos, para ser santos, como Dios nos pide. We, weak persons, we all, uh, we face a lot of temptations in this, when we live uh, in this, this year, uh, temptations and so on. There we need to pray and then we need to uh, adore the Lord, praise and uh, worship the Lord. And then in this mass, I pray for you all and also for the strength that, that God may give you. And also I pray to St. Anthony that he may intercede for you and then fulfill your needs. Your problems explain to him. Your needs you tell him. Whatever you want, you ask him with faith, in faith. Faith is important. Without faith we cannot gain anything. We should have faith. Like Saint Anthony, he had a lot of faith. He never had any, uh, though he has uh, some distractions, but he never gave in to those distractions. But always praying, praying, praying. That is the that was the reason why Saint Anthony, Saint Anthony, he could able to he could able to uh, move the nature also. Even in one pond there were fish. One day some people they were not listening to his sermon. And then he just went to the river and then he was preaching. Those fish, they were listening to him. They are not going away. Yesterday we have seen fish, so many fish. Mm -hmm. Like if Anthony were to be there, St. Anthony were to be there, he would have spoke, uh, spoken to those fish. But we, we had, but we have to eat, it's we have to, in order to, 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 to talk to the fish. Yes. <laughs> See, he can control. And then if, uh, now and then he was asking the fish, Are you, did you understand? Yes, then they moved their heads. This fish moved their heads and then they said, yes, yes, we understood. Yes, like that, he moved even the nature, even the animals. See how that, that power he has, Anthony. He was saying his experience of one of the things that he told us about de continuar a pedir a Santo Antonio porque quiere, eh, él puede interceder, tenía mucha fe. Necesitamos la gracia de Dios y la fe, pero la fe es parte nuestra. Y él tenía mucha fe. Cuando la gente no lo escuchaba, pues se fue al río y empezó a predicar a los peces. Y los peces se pararon y movían la cabeza y estaban. Y era tan fuerte su fe que hasta la naturaleza colaboraba con su predicación. Hay que aprender muchas cosas de lo que nos dice su excelencia, pedir con fe. Tener fe quiere decir, seguro me se me va a ocurrir esto. Seguro porque Dios me va, a, lo pido con fe y yo creo que sí, sí voy a cumplir lo que estoy pidiendo. En el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Amén.